Is it going? Oh, wow. Well, hello there, everyone. And today I'm going to show you the back portion of my minivan, which is, I believe, called the tailgate. Okay, so I know some people wanted to know a bit more information on how I set it up and what it looks like. I've, I've posted some photos on it, and I think I briefly showed it, but I think more want to see its construction. Unfortunately, I don't have build videos. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through it bit by bit, and then maybe from there you can get an idea of how you can make one yourself. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm just in the parking lot right now. I got my key so I don't lock myself out. Just let me just double check here. Yeah, I do. Okay, great. So we'll go here and we're gonna open it up. And wow, look at this, hey guys. So um, did not prepare for this. Did not expect that it would look like this, but hey, what do you expect, right? So here, right over here, I've got uh, an area where I keep my shoes. And I've got two shoes there and my running shoes. I haven't used those shoes in a while just because uh, I haven't been trail running. I've been mostly walking and I've had my boots. Now this one here, uh, you've got, I've got my, uh, my water pack and uh, some of my Spartan medals from previous. I, I believe these are from my, my latest ones. And I don't know if I talked to you guys already about it, but I do run Spartan races, uh, OCR races. I've done Tough Mudder. And one of my goals for this year is to run an ultra and to finish. And uh, this minivan here is helping me a lot in that when I go to a trail and after my trail run, uh, I have a place to sort of crash out. And we can like sort of peek inside over there. And right there are these beautiful lights. It was all tangled. I couldn't untangle it. So I just turned it into a light cloud. But if you peek inside, that's what it looks like inside. Okay. Okay, so that's that's the back portion of my van right now. And over here, these curtains, they do come out. I can just uh, put them out like this and then they could cover everything up if I wanted to keep, you know, the back the back portion here open, okay? And I wanted some privacy, but uh, pillows, yeah, I've got pillows to spare. And then I've, over here, I've got this uh, cushion happening and my, you know, another, another blanket. It's really cozy. So the part that we want to look at is this thing here and the way it works is I just pull it open like that and bam I use this for cooking outside if I wanted to I use it for just you know getting my gear ready you know afterwards um, and it's a simple construction it's just some some uh, some some planks here some wood and right over here the the main portion of this really is is this part right here is this particular this, I don't know what you call this. I, can't, I, I forgot what you call it, but that's how it's constructed. And just right underneath, I just put these two together because at that time I didn't have any plywood, but I did have this and um, it actually worked out pretty good for me. And what I did was I, I created a frame. This is, so this is my, my storage area. It's a bit messy in here. Oh yeah, the camp oven. Guys, I gotta show that to you. But the camp oven over here and I've got, um, my diesel heater uh, tank right here and this is the storage back here there's, there's actually quite a bit and underneath here is the battery box that I covered just to make sure and you can already tell probably if you've done this before you're wondering how do I access my battery and that is uh, the part that I'm going to be changing in my next design is that being able to access the battery much easier but this is what this whole thing looks like right here you know after the video I'm going to see if I can find out the actual name of this but it's a hinge and what the, the action is, it does this. Let's try to do this one hand, it does this kind of thing, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, there we go, so uh, this is the other one, one second. There, so here's the hinge, it does this and it folds in. When it folds in, it then creates this cover. And that's how this part works and it's like really handy. And I, this, I think, if there's anything that I made here, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite part of the minivan of this minivan camper van build that I made that I'm particularly proud of. So if you have any other questions, let me know, post it up. Uh, this one here, I got this at a, at a bargain bin at a hardware store. I actually can't remember the hardware store, but I think it's also available on Home Depot. That's as much as I can talk about this. Um, well, what was the other thing? What's the other design issue? Oh yeah, one other thing. When I first installed this, I had it out too much so what happened was when I tried to close it when I tried to close the main door the back door it wouldn't close it would hit this 
hands. So, hold on. I can't, it's so difficult to do this one hand. Anyway, guys, here. I'll fly through. And then here, that's what it looks like. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at that in the background, suburbia. Yeah, I don't have mountains or trees here. Like got mountains or foresty forests or Mr. Van City Van Life. All wonderful Canadians. Right now, I am in suburbia. I'm roughing it in suburbia and within the GTA. And maybe one day I'll be able to sort of meet up with those guys and we can have uh, a nice hike. Get to meet the legendary Cruise and Chrome. Anyway, guys, thanks very much. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please like it. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and help me grow my channel. Thanks very much. And there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build as I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video of my curated playlist. I love that feeling when you just sort of get into your car and it's super quiet. Like right now.